oh my God, your hair, are you having a max moment? Because I feel like since lockdown, my hair's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. <laughs> is it a max moment? <laughs> yeah, because my friends keep saying, my God, the stress is making them get thinner hair. And through lockdown, my hair's just been getting thicker and bigger. Because you're taking care of it. You know, you're loving yourself, self-love. Let's go. Here's Christian. Christian Newbillet. He's a new recruit in your regiment. Be his friend. I might not like him. Congratulations. This was a bit of self-love, but it was also self-reflective. Um, listen, so much to talk to you about, but you went to Sicily. Yes. Lockdown. Crazy. How tough was it for you to say, okay, I'm going to go and I'm going to spend that time doing this film because most of us wanted to be at home with family and friends. Oh, absolutely. Well, I, unfortunately, I got locked down in LA, LA by myself with an air mattress for like two months. And so I was because my I was living in New York and then I had to get my furniture over. It was a whole thing. Yeah. So I, when I got this call, I was really excited because I was like, man, isolation is killing me. I at least get to spend some time doing what I love and, and making a beautiful story like this about connection, about missing the people. And so I had so much to bring to it, I think, at the time. So I really looked at it as a gift and a privilege more than anything else. And a bed. Yeah. <laughs> a bed, right? A proper bed probably helps. A proper bed, yeah. <laughs> I hear, tell me if I'm wrong, that you had a moment of self-doubt. You, the guy that's been killing all these demanding roles for the last couple of years, had self-doubt. And Peter came to the rescue and kind of guided you through it. Is this true? Oh, yes. I, I, I was so scared because I, you know, we, I hadn't acted probably in it felt like a year because <laughs> we were sitting around. And so by the time I got there, and it, this was such a challenging role because of the language, because of the period and the time. And I, and I you know, I knew that Peter and Haley had time before we did the, with the, with the movie on the stage production. And so um, Pete we really came to my rescue and he was like, man, you're here because of what you bring, your energy, your love and your spirit can be lended to Christian. And so I, I really just trusted the process and trusted my scene partner and every moment I had to just live in those moments and, and know that we've done the work together and that our relationship will will stand, the, you know, will ring true and I don't have to do that much more. <laughs> I overthink too much, that's my problem. Yeah, another thing we share in common, aside from having hair that grows pretty fast, we also are overthinkers. This film will have you in your mind though, so much. Um, did you think about this idea of um, fake it till you make it, little white lines to protect yourself and wearing a mask? Because I think the creative industries especially teach us to almost present somebody that the world wants um, rather than who we actually are. And I think we're all on this journey of trying to be our authentic self, Calvin. So did you have those moments? Absolutely. I mean, even, even, <laughs> Even when it came down to dating, <laughs> I, you know, I was on the apps for a second and I would I would tell my buddy, I was like, I don't know what to say. <laughs> so I would pass him my phone and I was like, you have better lines than me. And, you know, you think about Instagram, you think about social media and like the, the, the filters, all of it. Like we're always trying to curate an idea of ourselves that, you know, we think will be socially acceptable. And that ultimately what all these people are, are what, what Christian and Cyrano are going through, it's just, I don't know if I'm enough. And, and I feel like I would like to believe I'm enough. I would feel like my authentic self, I want to believe is enough. But, you know, for some reason, someone's told me down the line that maybe it isn't. And, and those things stick with us, you know? That's why, you know, what we say about each other is so powerful. And for putting love back in there and putting love back into the world and speaking to each other with kindness is, is, is huge. It is. Stop catfishing. Don't do it anymore. You're Stop. right. I know. I learned my lesson. Yeah. A woman like Roxanne wants wit. I don't know how to speak romantically. I am a poet. My words upon your lips. I will make you romantic while you make me handsome. You were instantly in lockdown making this beautiful film with two couples. Hello, Gooseberry. I mean, what were those dinners like? Did you feel orcs? I was definitely like, huh. We have to figure this one out. <laughs> I'm definitely out of the loop here, <laughs> but it was cool, you know. I, I really think that they just really took they really took me under their wing and took care of me, and they were really just really generous with with their their wisdom. And all of them have had such a vast experience in, in different fields, so it was it was nice. It was nice. It was it was it's like having a master class, and they couldn't run away from me because it was lockdown still. <laughs>
My love for you is so powerful. My love for you is so powerful. It has the strength of Hercules. It has the strength of Hercules. Hercules. Got anything better? Appreciate you, Max. So good talking. I to can't you. help it. Keep the hair growing. Yeah. <laughs> Bye.